All right, viewers, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2004 Volvo C70 2 litre turbo convertible. And this is going to be a full tour of the C70. We'll start it up, show the engine, and show you around the interior and exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Abbott Vehicle Sourcing, located in Llangevny, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out their link in the description below. say silver exterior also known as moon dust silver with tan leather interior has just under 126,000 miles on the clock Leather steering wheel. Five speed manual transmission. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlamps. Front and rear fog lamps. and the hazards. Driver side windows, automatic down. And let's go and check out the exterior. Many of you will remember, I test drove this car last year. And I liked it very much. Seventeen-inch wheels. It's actually my favourite car I drove in 2023. Couldn't resist the opportunity to do a video review about it. Before I started, I spent a good hour jet washing it and cleaning it out. It's not exactly factory fresh, but it looks a lot better than it did. First generation C30, ran from 1996 to 2005. It received a facelift in 2002. And you can have it as, you could have it rather, as either a soft top convertible or a hard top coupe. You don't see many of them in this area. Certainly quite a rare car. And I have to say, it kind of looks like the old Mercedes CLK Cabriolet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, it has been a while since I've done a proper video review at Abbott Vehicle Sourcing.
a two litre turbocharged five cylinder engine. Puts out 163 brake horsepower. Does lots of 60 in 9.6 seconds. And has a top speed of 130 miles an hour. As always, I'll provide the full specs in the description below. Power mirrors, power windows, and power locks. Boot and fuel cap release. Manual seats. Don't think they have side airbags. I think maybe they're incorporated into the doors. It's great how Volvo kept these old seats going for so long. Quickly show you how the roof operates. It certainly takes its time.
dual zone automatic climate control. Fan speed. Automatic. Individual temperatures. Different zones. Also automatic. Recycling. AC on and off. Your heated seats. And ready frost. The radio unfortunately does not work. Just needs its code entering. But it is good that it's kept its original factory unit. CD player. Cassette player. Different preset stations. Sound settings. Traffic announcements. And so on. Very basic unit. Very easy to use. Power outlet. Don't know how well you can see that. The sun's interfering with the screen on my camera. Cruise control. And traction control. Such an elegantly designed interior. I think it looks, uh, excuse me, I think it looks pretty good. Especially in this colour, with the wood. And going back to the seats. It's amazing how I said earlier that Volvo kept these old seats going for so long. They're just so comfy. Could do millions of miles in them. I think they first came along on the 940. Because my mum had a 940 estate and it had this style of seats. They also appeared on the 850 and other older Volvo models. I do think this generation of C70 was the last Volvo model to use the original style of front seats. Who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and shut her down. I'm not going to put the roof up as I show off the passenger side.
The space in the back is pretty good. If I shuffle over to the other side. It's just about okay. I've got miles of headroom. <laughs> and these back seats are pretty comfortable too. Thought it'd be a good idea not to mess with any of the receipts or paperwork. Just in case. Owner's manual. Viewers, a massive thanks to Abbott Vehicle Sourcing for allowing me to film this 2004 Volvo C70. Thanks much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And peace out.